This is, this is the owner of EA Diesel right here. Hence the license plate. I've been able to park her in here, so... Hello, ma'am. Hello, why are you blocking my... I am blocking this because this is illegal. Okay, you always call... That is illegal. That is not mine. Actually, that's you not always... illegal. That is illegal. Well, that's not You're mine. squatting you on private call. property. Okay, if you... That's that your, that is that's private your property. property. You could tell me something, but that's not your property, so don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Well, it's my neighborhood, and I'm going to worry about it. And that's my neighborhood, too, because I work here. It's not your neighborhood because you don't own property here. You lease a fucking garage. Yes, so that means I could do whatever the hell they told me on the lease, right? So you're blocking the lease. Right now. The lease tells you you can park on a city parking lot. It tells you you can park on city parking. They told me I could park wherever is a parking lot. I could park. Okay. Well. Okay. So move your truck. When you talk away, to the I'm, I'm, police I'm, officers. I'm talk to the police. Call it. Want me to call right now? Yeah. The, the number is 911. No, I'm not calling 911. I'm calling the radio cops. Oh, okay. So he can come. All right. Because I'm over here. This is insane. You're blocking. See, you can't even let the cars come by. And yeah, I, saying, I, I've had to... This all started when I stopped because I was fed up with having to park and wait for your guys' trucks to be out of my way so that I could drive around because you park your trucks in the street. You've only been here for two and a half years or whatever. So, yeah, it's just you guys. The shop that used to be here was fucking great. The person who used to... Are you calling the cops or not? Like, I have shit to do today. I got shit to do too, but you're fucking blocking my fucking view. You said you were calling the cops. I was waiting. I'm not going to drive away if you're calling the cops on me. Like, I'll quit recording so I can call the cops if that's what you want. You think I'm afraid because you're recording me? I'm not. I don't record because I'm... I want to scare you. I record so that I don't fucking go to jail, bitch. Oh, gosh. God forbid I offend you after you fucking trespass on private property for two years for the profit of your company where you lease, you don't even own a building. Like, you single-handedly lower the freaking property values in this neighborhood with all your garbage everywhere. It's a 2000 Nissan Titan. License plate, no hate. <laughs> Alright, I am going to move my truck now since she's calling the cops and they're coming so she's not going to go anywhere. And she's still on the phone.
So I'm parked and the cops are on their way. So we're finally, finally gonna get somewhere on this shit. So I'm not sure if the cops are actually coming at this point or not. I really hope so. <sighs> not exactly a parking spot, but you know, neither are these and I didn't want to be accused of driving away from the scene if she was calling the cops. I asked her to call the cops, I'm sure, I mean, that's on the recording earlier. I think I've had film rolling the whole time, so shouldn't be any question. All the audio is there. See, and this is exactly the kind of problems that they cause all the time. You see all those trucks down there? Here, let me zoom in. All of these trucks, that's private property that they don't own. See all the hoods up and they're working on them on private property they don't own? No one in that parking lot owns that building. It's a completely vacant building. And that's a something like two million dollar piece of property that they're parking on. Hopefully I have enough camera for all of this. So along with all these vehicles, these diesel engines that are just sitting in the dirt, the forklift that is parked on the sidewalk, the chemical bin, because I'm sure that's not just water, the oil drums on the back of a truck that doesn't run, and parked up to the bumper of another truck that doesn't run parked up to the bumper of another truck that doesn't run parked up to the bumper of another truck that doesn't run all because this woman thinks that she should be able to do whatever she wants because her lease says that anywhere she can find parking she can park this is her her little Corvette she also has a Humvee that was stripped out in there I'm assuming was hers but Maybe that was just a chop shop deal, I don't know. I never thought anything of the... I've never heard of the chop shop idea until the 
dry cleaning business next door alluded to that, that he sees vehicles go in that have never come out. See, not only do these trucks not run, they don't even roll. They, you know, flat tires, parts falling off. Like, these are just junkyard vehicles. And these are just junk engines. And this is my neighborhood. So, yeah, I've been trying for two years to get the city of Denver to do anything about this. As these aren't even property owners, these are people leasing a business. I mean, they lease half of this building. The other half of this building is Colorado Cleaners, which is a dry cleaning business. And <clears throat> he says that they sometimes wash the floor with gasoline to get the diesel and grease off. And the gasoline actually comes under the door of the diesel, the uh, dry cleaners. So he's in there dry cleaning clothes while gasoline is coming underneath a partition wall that you can see right through the glass there. So this guy has had to have his business, which he leased his half of the building before the garage leased the other half. And he's had to deal with them being his next door neighbors through all of this crap. That's why he has security cameras right there watching toward the shop because they throw parties and drink until 3 in the morning. <clears throat> they have a Belgian Malwa, which is basically a German Shepherd for military and police breed of dog that they keep off leash, she just roams the neighborhood. <clears throat> this is their barbecue grill so they can grill on, you know, the weekends and stuff and have parties right here, which that's fine. I mean, I don't give a crap about that. That's great that they enjoy where they work. And none of the mechanics, to my knowledge, have any way of profiting off any of this. This is strictly this woman's prerogative to just park garbage everywhere for no apparent reason. Like, there's no profit margin for broke down trucks to just be parked on the street. It's just that you don't have a parking lot to park your parts vehicles. So, I don't know. It doesn't look like the police are showing up But, I'm still in the street, so I'm going to go ahead and film inside the vehicle a little bit. I didn't reach in or anything, I'm just walking by. It's got the high performance tires on the big wheels for her 4x4, because, you know, Makes sense. Are the cops coming? Are the popo coming? <laughs> As you can see, that is a very very full shop. There's a few more trucks back there. I'll leave if the cops aren't coming. I'm just, I'm waiting to see if the cops are coming. She heard me, she's just ignoring me and tend to consult with the guys in the truck, so I guess I'm... Are the cops coming or not? Ma'am!
Ma'am, are the police coming? I, I, I will leave. I want to leave. I want to leave. Are the cops coming or not? If you say the cops aren't coming, I will leave. Are they coming or not? I'm not gonna, I mean, I live around, you know, I live behind you, so it's not like they have a hard time finding me, but, all right. Have a good day. If the cops need me, they know where I live. So this is how much distance we have between the yellow line and her truck tires. As the owner of the shop, this is where she parks. So we are, let's see here, I wear a size 12. There we go. 